it's Julia. This week I've been working on t-shirts for my little summer shop and I've been wanting to experiment ag again with my my new my new toy here, the Inktense um, pencils. Because they are in ink and once they're activated with water and dried they are color fast so you can use them on fabric and it's just been so fun to kind of experiment and play with these. Uh, the first t-shirt I did was a yellow, bright yellow one. Set this aside and I'll show you the design here. I put the design on the bottom of the t-shirt. Um, I'm using the brand um, Enza, which is a blend. It's a 60 cotton, 40 poly t-shirt. Um, and the design is, like, like I said, is at the bottom edge of it. And isn't this a fun design? I It's really simple. I used two different um, die cuts and ran, ran them through my Big Shot. The petals are actually the Sizzix, um, it's called Le Plain Leaves. And then the circles are uh, the circle, the one and the fourth inch circle. So I used both of those die cuts for the design. Now, a lot of times when I, when I, when I, put, applique I do use like a, a stabilizer underneath I did not put a stabilizer underneath this one I but I stayed right on the actual fabric when I when I did my free motion I have other videos on how I do my free motion applique and I will link that and I will also link some of the videos that I use to cut the how to how to cut the fabric with this with the Sizzix Big Shot so simple and so much so fun so this is already to the point where I have ironed it on I used a heat and bond light to iron it on here's the package for the heat and bond light I just get it at Walmart this is in the on the back side of the fabric before I run it through the the, the Big Shot and also before I cut these little just really little tiny strips for the stems. So it's a very simple design. And so my next step, what I thought I would do, and I'll show you, um, is how I'm going to color these little petals in. I do have a little, I think I used to use this for tailoring a long time ago, and I used to do that kind of thing. But it's just, you can slip anything in between this. I just want to make sure that it doesn't bleed through to the other side. So I am going to put a barrier in there. Um, the first one, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. The first one I'm going to do is this yellow one. Now, you probably may not even see this until I activate it with water. But I am just going to lightly just color this on. And the next one I am going to do, and I notice how there's three different circles and I did a different design in each circle just to add some, some interest. And also notice I, I love using the black thread and I'm really messy when I, when I sew it. And I do that intentionally. I kind of want it to look like a, like a stitched on effect. Um, so it's not perfect. I just, it's, I color outside the lines. No, no doubt on that. Um, the next one I'm going to be using for this particular flop flower is the Carmen Pink. And again, I'm just going to color it in here. And then I am going to use a blue for the other one. This is the, the dark aquamarine blue. And this one I just did a little peace sign on the Really cool fabric that I used for these flowers and you can kind of tell when I'm coloring it. Um, I have a little scrap of the fabric here but it has a lot of texture on it. Did you see those little circles, those little bubbles? So it's all one color but it has, it's almost like an embossed texture on this on this fabric and I picked this fabric up oh probably three years ago but just a, a hint if you're, any of you are interested in fabric collaging and, and putting things together um, wonderful to have like a texture like this so I always kind of look for just unique fabrics. So here we go I am going to use uh, just a small paintbrush. I am going to be using it, 
a little bit of the textile medium in with my water. This helps, um, this actually does help make it more color fast, although I don't think I'll have a problem with this, but it, it just, it helps with um, color bleeding and all that kind of thing. So I did, I added a little bit in with my water, so it's kind of a milky color. And then you just basically just add it right to the, right to your, your work. Isn't that cool? It just turns out so bright and so fun. Um, I'm not going all the way to the edge on this. I don't want it to bleed on my shirt. I have also no, kind of figured out that the, the stitching acts as a, somewhat as a barrier. And so it, that does help to have that stitching on there. But I'm just going to kind of take it right up to the stitching. and So that, that one's done. How simple is that? Now when, I, when these are dry, I will take them to my iron and I will um, set the color also that way. But I have actually washed um, some of these and uh, some garments that I have, that I did last week and I had just to test it and I had no problems with bleeding or anything so I was pretty happy with it. Okay, my next one I'm going to do is the pink here. So much fun. I really do like the texture on the fabric. It really does kind of keep that embossed look a little bit. Really adds a nice texture and a nice interest to your piece. And the last one I'm going to do, I'm going to clean my brush again here, and then I'm going to do this yellow one. Our selling season for t-shirts is so short up here in Minnesota that I usually don't add too many to my shop. I have a little summer shop. It's in with a flea market. So we're just open on weekends. And in my particular shop, I have all handcrafted items. A lot, most of them I've done, but I do have a few, a few of people that have that helped me out and also have put their things in it. So it's just a really, it's just a really fun fun place. I, I love when it's open. I just, it's just, like I said, it's just in the summertime, but it, um, it's just been really fun. Okay, so this one is finished. Um, I, I did two other colors of t-shirts too, with two other different designs. Um, I'm going to go grab the next one and I'll show you, show you that one too. Okay, the next one is on this really pretty fuchsia pink t-shirt. Again, the design is at the bottom edge, and this is a really neat uh, butterfly. This is a Tim Holtz um, die, uh, again, a big shot die, it's alteration, and it's called the fanc Fanciful Flight. On this particular one, I did put a piece of st a stabilizer underneath it before I sewed. Um, if you can tell, because the reason why I had to do that is I, I went just went off the fabric and just did some stitching for the antennas and also just the flight kind of a little swirl here. Um, and I, because I went off the fabric, my sewing machine would have hated me if I didn't put something underneath it to stabilize that stitch. It probably would have, I don't know, probably would have broken stitches and everything else. So I just put that little stabilizer underneath. My favorite stabilizer to use is a stick, is a um, tear away, wash away. So as you can see, a lot of this I've, tearn, I've torn away already, and the rest of it that's kind of hard to get to will wash away. So it stays real soft, and it's a nice, nice stabilizer to use for a, a knit. Okay, so here we go. On this particular th butterfly, I am going to do the blue again on the top wings and an orange on the bottom wings. So I'm going to just quickly just show you probably just on the two and then I'll do the other two off off camera. But I'm going to do the blue one here. This is just going to be so much fun. I I like the I like the look of it because it looks water painted but still has a stitched look to it also, which is just a really neat addition to some of my things that I've been been that I've been selling in the past. Pretty excited about and plus I love coloring. It just brings me brings me way back. 
Okay, so let's just see how this one's going to turn out. I'm going to, again, dip my brush in my textile medium. How cool, huh? Now I suppose I could come back in and do some shading and all that stuff, but on this certain kind of a thing, I am not. I want it to be just a real fresh, clean look. I don't want to add too many different colors. I just kind of. I use the same fabric underneath, the same white kind of cream colored with the bubbles. Okay, that's that one. Now I'm going to do the orange so you can see what that one looks like. Oh, let's just get a little bit more on here just to kind of make sure it's all activated and I'm going to switch brushes here. And there we go. I'll finish it off camera. I do want to show you my last design. I did it on a really pretty green t-shirt and this one is actually a dragonfly that I just kind of hand did on um, the back of my heat and bond and then ironed it on. And again, I did put the, I did put the stabilizer underneath it because I did, again, the flight line and also the little um, antennas on that one. Um, and I will show you what I, how I painted that one. I do have one that's finished. I did add a little bit more color to it by adding a little bit of yellow. Um, to the centers of the f of it and also did more in purples and blues. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a chance just to experiment with this fun new product. I, I, I guess it's not new. It's new to me. I just, I've been having a lot of fun with it this week. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a chance to create something. Um, bye for now.